What's up, YouTube? This is Joelle. Today is... Oh my gosh. Today is... Let me look at the date here. Saturday, November 19th. Um, wanted to talk about Facebook and the whole crazy situation with Meta and Twitter. You know, the whole debacle. There's a lot of craziness going on in the market. For example, you know... Um, with Meta, you know, Zuckerberg decided to put all his eggs in one basket, the Metaverse. I don't know if he did his market research or not, but clearly he did not. And um, his whole company's tanking. Now, you know, you could say that Facebook owns WhatsApp. They own, you know, all these applications. So, you know, they're big enough. To maybe not fail but the only thing here I have to say is that you know if if the company turns around that's a big if you know they focus their efforts away from the metaverse then it's quite possible that it could turn around I mean right now they're sinking a bunch of money in the metaverse and you know the equipment is too bulky I mean you know when I went to CS college in the CS class you know in college, my data, either my data visualization teacher, one of the teachers said, your eyes can get tired from being, you know, in this virtual reality, you have a screen like right to your face. So, you know, does it really make sense for people to exist in the metaverse, right? If your user, you know, if your user time spent on the platform is like 10 minutes, right, per user or something ridiculously small, right then does it really make sense to um you know to put all your money on the metaverse you know if people spend an hour on facebook you know or just enough time on facebook and they log in and they do all these activities it would make more sense to focus on facebook and instagram and all the other platforms to make them better right like tiktok has come out and you know it's overtaken youtube and everything like that so it might make more sense to, you know, either create a new digital platform or, you know, just do something else that's not the metaverse. So, it, sorry for the pause there. Of, um, yeah, that's Facebook. You know, they just need to realign their focus. Now let's talk about Elon, uh, Twitter, and Tesla. Yeah, so Elon, you know, forcing employees, you know, firing the entire... Twitter board, right, and then laying off a bunch of people, and then on top of that, you know, giving them an ultimatum that, you know, you either work, you know, nights and weekends or you leave the company. It's just insane. You know, he just took $54 billion or whatever he spent on that Twitter thing and just burned that to the ground because he's burning the company to the ground. You know, a company, you know, someone as smart as Elon should understand that a company is made of its people and the second you start tearing down your people you're tearing down the company so the only thing i can think of is elon probably bought you know something like a short against you know twitter before he purchased the company and then he drove that thing to the ground which i think he's trying to do um which he could benefit because i feel like if he did that then he's the only one benefiting from this but paying 54 billion dollars to you know, lay off a bunch of people doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, brilliant people, you know, that's where companies die is, you know, your top dog leadership, you know, starts, you know, top of the line leadership makes bad decisions. And that's where companies die. And the truth of the matter is every company dies. It's just a matter of when, you know, if, if you have good leadership, good people, you know, good products, you know, you'll stay in business for a long time. And, you know, the second you start mistreating people, mistreating your customers, mistreating, you know, parts of your business and not treating it like a baby, you know, it's, it's going to kill you. <laughs> so my prediction is Twitter will no longer be a company in five years. I don't think tes because of the Tesla, de the, the Twitter debacle, I think people are going to start shorting Tesla more, even though there's good earnings there. It was already an overpriced stock, but people believed in 
Elon a lot more and put a lot of faith in Elon. So I think Tesla will be the biggest, best short that we're going to see in the next five years because all the crap that Elon's doing on uh, with Twitter. So um, that's it. And then let's talk about FDX, you know, the FDX debacle. Uh, Sam, you know, he used customers' money to pay for the loans, right? So that's the thing with crypto is, you know, we don't really quite understand what the hell crypto is, first of all. And second of all, you know, it's, you know, people like Sam kind of taking this technology and, you know, mistreating customers, stealing money. Crypto is going to zero if this keeps happening. There are continue to be bad apples in the mix, and there will be bad apples in every technology, but crypto will go to zero um, in the next five years. That's my prediction. I can't see the future, but I can kind of see the trends. Okay, let's talk about the next one year. All the billionaires are predicting a long, hard-drawn recession, and this could be a self-fulfilling prophecy, but, you know, I think... Inflation will come down and things will get better, but hopefully we'll see what happens there. So those are my thoughts on the financial market. Thank you guys for watching. If you like content about finances, you know, while I'm folding clothes, let me know. <laughs> so thank you guys. Have a good day.